Hi, I'm Harry Falconer, Vice President of Experience and Education at the National Council of Architectural Registration Boards, also known as NCARB. I've had the honor of working with 10 most knowledgeable and competent architects and NCIDQ certified interior designers in detailed research to understand if commonalities exist between the architecture and interior design professions. I have the pleasure of sharing the screen with Jesse Chappelle today to introduce the findings. Jesse, would you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jesse Chappelle, and I participated as a CIDQ subject matter expert for the joint NCARB CIDQ comparison task force. I hold both an NCIDQ and NCARB certificate and currently serve as a director on the CIDQ board of directors. So let us tell you about the joint study and the report. Architects and interior designers frequently collaborate to serve the public through the design of the built environment. While shared knowledge and expertise can lead to effective collaboration between professionals, this can also lead to a lack of clarity regarding the practice boundaries between architecture and interior design. To better understand the similarities and differences between the professions, NCARB and CIDQ are released the joint report that assesses the alignment and distinctions between the task, knowledge and skills necessary for competency in each profession. The purpose of this report is to enable NCARP, CIDQ, and others in the design industry to have more informed discussions and a better understanding of our respective roles and responsibilities when it comes to protecting the public's health, safety, and welfare. While many similarities exist, architects and interior designers have distinct roles within the built environment. We'll briefly share some background information on this report. With an increasing number of U.S. states and territories regulating the practice of interior design, the intersection of practice with architecture has also increased. This map provides some insight into the range of different regulatory positions across the U.S. and associated jurisdictions. To help us explore this changing landscape, in 2019, NCARB and CIDQ came together to review and compare the practice analyses and exam assessment objectives for both professions. The goal, to identify the similarities and differences in defined competencies. This effort also serves to better inform regulators about the knowledge requirements of each profession. This sort of collaborative analysis had never previously been attempted, yet it seemed foundational to future dialogue between the disciplines and the establishment of reasonable regulation. NCARB and CIDQ each established a team of subject matter experts who compared the knowledge, skills, and tasks identified in each organization's practice analysis, as well as the assessment objectives of each organization's required examination. A practice analysis is a scientific study that defines the knowledge, skills, and tasks required to competently practice one's profession. These studies are regularly updated to reflect the current state of the profession and the needs of practitioners. They are also the foundation for developing the exam test specifications. The NCARB and CIDQ teams independently performed a line-by-line -line comparison of tasks and objectives. After concluding their analyses, the two teams met jointly to review, compare, and discuss their findings. Both teams acknowledged that the analysis effort presented some challenges, and several terms within the NCARB and CIDQ practice analyses and exam specifications are shared by both professions but have different meanings or applications within respective professional practice. Working together through these challenges, NCARB and CIDQ subject matter experts conducted a holistic comparison and an analysis of all the task and exam objectives for both professions. As a result, each line item was identified as having definite similarity, some similarity, or no similarity. The resulting joint report provides a detailed breakdown of the background, methodology, and findings. You will find charts detailing the proportion of similarities or lack of similarities between tasks identified on each organization's practice analysis, as well as each organization's assessment objectives for their respective exams. Also included are detailed comparison charts that represent tasks and objectives identified as having definite similarity or some similarity. And equally important is the identification of tasks and objectives in which no similarities were identified. The study began by identifying similarities in competency expectations between the two professions, 
This required recognizing tasks that are performed by both architects and NCIDQ certified interior designers. You'll learn of tasks that were found to have definite similarity. For example, NCARB's perform building code analysis task is definitely similar to CIDQ's review the design for code compliance. You'll also see the tasks that were found to reflect some similarity, such as CIDQ's verify site conditions and NCARB's prepare site analysis diagrams to document existing conditions. The collective team's analysis found that 67 of the 87 tasks in CIDQ's practice analysis, or 77%, reflected definite or some similarity, and 20 of the 87 tasks, or 23%, reflected no similarity to NCARB's tasks. Additionally, 77 of the 96 tasks in NCARB's practice analysis, or 80%, reflected definite or some similarity, and 19 of the 96, or 20%, reflected no similarity to CIDQ's task. Both professions rely on its examination to assess the knowledge and skills required to competently perform the tasks identified by its practice analysis. Completion of the exam, in combination with educational and experience requirements, establishes competency for regulated practice. Therefore, NCARB and CIDQ continued their comparison by looking at each organization's examination assessment objectives. These objectives are defined in NCARB's ARE 5.0 handbook and CIDQ's NCIDQ examination blueprint. In this section of the report, you'll learn of assessment content area objectives that were found to have definite similarity. An example is NCARB's apply procedures required for adherence to laws and regulations. This objective is definitely similar to CIDQ's permit requirements life safety, zoning, and building use. In an example of objectives that were found to reflect some similarity is CIDQ's integrate life safety elements into design and building construction types and NCARB's identify relevant code requirements for building and site types. Overall, the team's detailed analysis found that 115 of the 138 knowledge areas for interior designers, or 83%, reflected definite or some similarity, and 23 of the 138 knowledge area objectives, or 17%, reflected no similarity with architects. Additionally, 76 of the 91 assessment objectives for architects, or 83%, reflected definite or some similarity, and 15 of the 91 content area objectives, or 17%, reflected no similarity with interior designers. CIDQ and NCARB hope that the findings highlighted in this report can be used to inform ongoing discussions between architects and interior designers, as well as support more effective and reasonable regulation of both professions. The team of subject matter experts who conducted this analysis concluded that NCARB and CIDQ both have well-established procedures and rigorous requirements that must be met to obtain a license to practice architecture or to gain NCIDQ certification. And the both professions of architecture and interior design, while similar in practice and required knowledge, are definitely unique and distinct disciplines that have both serve an important role protecting the health, safety, and welfare of the public within the built environment. Thank you. We hope that you find the report informative and interesting.